Hey guys, here's another update. This time it's not about the paddle shifters. This is about the actual button box, or in this case, um, just a faceplate. I'm probably not going to create a back body for it because that would just create extra weight. And the more weight you have on here, the, the, the weight counteracts the force feedback. Probably not going to be an issue with a direct drive wheel, but still, why waste it? So, and I don't think it's needed. You're just looking in from the front. The wires just run right across here, and then the, uh, the currently the Adreno Nano is sitting right behind here, and it just comes there, a little wire channel, so it's all held in, and it, it doesn't come loose, even with the uh, strong force feedback. Unfortunately, there has been a little setback. I always knew that the uh, Arduino Nano cannot act as a HID, a human interface device, so I cannot say or configure the Nano to be a USB keyboard. So it always needs some sort of translation program. This is what is over here. I don't think you'll be able to see it. I don't think the camera picks it up. It's a simple .NET program and you can uh, configure the different buttons and tell it what to send out. This has been working quite well in pretty much no, not pretty much. In every single Windows application I've tried, I'm going to show you this. This is Notepad right here, and if I hit a button, it just sends the keys. And it's really quick. There's been no issues. This is the joystick here in the center, moving it up, down. It always just sends a key press, and also the button in the center, working quite well. So I was expecting this to work the same way in the game. Unfortunately, it does not. Uh, let me get in here and show you. I currently have these two set up. This one is supposed to shift up, this is supposed to shift down. Nothing. Sometimes it'll fire. There it goes. It just takes, and the, 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 the second one was really quick, or quick error. It, it just doesn't work reliably. It's not even work. This is not usable. Uh, it's probably a delay issue. When I built this unit, I've actually had to add a, I think it was 50 or 75 millisecond delay, or actually press the key for a certain amount of time for the game to pick it up. It's probably some sort of issue like that. I'm not a, syst uh, I'm not a, uh, a programmer, I'm a system engineer, so this isn't my world. Um, I'm probably going to look into it a little further, but while researching the issue, I've actually discovered that there's an Arduino, let me get out of here so stop the engine, there's an Arduino Pro Micro, uh, and the Pro Micro is about the same price as a Nano, so it, it fits really well, but it has a big advantage that it supports USB right on the microcontroller. So the Pro Micro would have been a much better fit. Unfortunately, I didn't know about it when I started the project. It's a much better fit for this because I can tell the Micro, you're a USB keyboard, and then it will simply send out the commands without the need for a translation program like this. So that's not required. I just plug the uh, Pro Micro in. It's going to be USB keyboard, and it'll just send out the commands to the uh, to the game. And I know that that works because I've been using this with the Teensy for a really long time. The uh, like I said, it's about the same price, so perfect fit, and also about the same size. I've ordered a. This is an STM32. It's a 32-bit microcontroller. It's about. It's it's not like the Arduinos. This is more like the Teensy. I've ordered this a while ago because the Teensy is a really nice unit, but it's a bit overkill for this, and it's a bit too expensive for what it's being used for. Uh, the Teensy 3.2 is about 25 euros with shipping. You're looking at about 30, where this one right here is five dollars shipped. And similar speed, maybe a little slower, but plenty or enough speed for what we're going to use it for. Uh, I've uh, programmed this also as a keyboard just to make sure because the uh, the Pro Micro yeah the Pro Micro is going to use a similar code. Uh, I just want a proof of concept instead of using Notepad or some other programs I want to make sure that the actual that the game will see it this time. So let me plug this in and I'll show you because a little setback but there's a solution. And the the button box I'm still the primary focus is going to be to use it with the Pro Micro because for this one you have to install custom libraries it's a little bit of uh, fiddling around where the Pro Micro uses standard Arduino libraries so it should just be a plug it in upload the code and you're done so it's going to be much easier to replicate this these plans are going to be posted um, I haven't released them yet because 
unfortunately right now it's not a working unit but let me just uh, show you let me plug okay we're in the car neutral I'm gonna plug this unit in and I'll just it'll take a second to boot up and then as soon as it boots up there we go this is what we want to see Windows sees this as a USB keyboard now and it just sends the commands to the game shift up shift down there's a little delay in between because it's actually just sending keyboard presses out and I don't want to mess uh, mess anything up there we go it goes down to read and then there's a little delay and it goes back up I'm gonna let it shift up again and back down and I'll switch to the uh, editor and you'll see the uh, keyboard presses there we go and we open up notepad it takes a second And there it is. Now the focus is on notepad, so the game isn't getting it. I'm using a V to shift up and then U to shift down. And like I said, this is now just a keyboard. The uh, translation or the, the, the VB.net program is not involved anymore. This is what we want to see. And the Pro Micro is going to work the exact same way. So let me just uh, disconnect this real quick and get out of here. So, just a quick update. It has been a little setback, but not a problem. As you can see, the project itself is coming along really well. I've moved the buttons out a little bit so I can reach them with my thumbs while uh, having both hands on the wheel. The joystick has been moved from here up into the center. There's this big spot here. It's a perfect spot for the joystick. There's a little dimension issue right now. It needs to move back like a half a millimeter, maybe a millimeter. It sometimes gets stuck. Um, so just slight adjustments but as soon as the pro micro is going to come in i'm gonna oh, oh yeah and also currently there's also another issue the uh, arduino nano is sitting about right here this creates an issue with the uh, connector so on the nano the usb connector is actually i had to desolder the connector and then solder the wire directly onto the board i thought that would be a lot easier unfortunately it's not and i trashed one of the boards in the process so Instead of having to do that, I'm going to just simply move the board down here. There's going to be plenty of room uh, down here. And then uh, there should be enough room for either one of these units or the Pro Micro. It won't matter. Focus is still going to be Pro Micro to keep it uh, to, to make it as easy as possible to replicate this. I'm expecting the Pro Micro to come in by the end of the week. So I'll be able to test the new design with the layout with the electronics down here uh, probably over the weekend. And then I'm expecting that to work because that is going to be a real uh, hit. It's going to be a keyboard. There shouldn't be any issues. That's why I've been testing the code on, on here and just making sure that um, the, the, the sim will see it. As soon as that's done, I will release the plans. If you don't have a 3D printer, there are websites out there that will take uh, those files or the, the, the files I will release and then print the unit for you and they will just ship you the parts. I've never used uh, one of these services, but from what I've heard, there some of them are out there with really high quality 3D printers. Uh, so right here, you, if you look closely, I don't know, you probably won't be able to see it on the video. There are little dashes and gaps in here. And even this, this is a, a 180 millimeters where my printer can only print 150. So this is printed in two parts. It splits right down the middle. If you can find a service that can print larger pieces, then this is going to be just one piece, which will make it look even better. Yeah, so if you're interested in this, uh, stay tuned. There are going to be more updates coming very soon. And then with the updates, we're probably going to be at release candidate number one. Uh, because, yeah, this is already working. Currently, it just needs a different computer system or a different a microcontroller system and then this will be working. So if you're currently in the market for a, a diode drive wheel, this might be a solution for you. So stay tuned.